one thing is there and that is very clear a great classic of astrology says that one cannot take even one step towards correct predictions if the result of house house lords are not considered and that is very true it have many hidden meanings it looks like a very simple statement it have uh, been told by me multiple times but still i think people don't understand it the moment you will start understanding it your approach towards astrology will be completely revolutionized it will be a complete revolution your eyes will open up so this is something that you have to keep in mind and in this thing in this process today we will talk of eighth house lord in different houses see one thing is there eighth house is a bad house eighth lord is a bad planet in the previous video i have tried talking about some of the good aspects of the eighth house however when it comes to the eighth lord the maleficence of the eighth house is carried with the eighth lord right so generally it gives bad results only but as you know when the planet becomes exalted swarashi mul trikon vargottam good results come so that will be there with eighth lord also when the eighth lord is in some other house there it is exalted vargottam mul trikon swarashi in its mul trikon rashi or in its own rashi it will give good result if into none of these special conditions then it will give bad result because naturally eighth house is a bad house this once again is a big secret that i have just told very simply you have to realize what i am saying if you actually want to gain knowledge you have to pay attention to all the words that i am saying right additionally if the eighth lord goes into a bad condition debilitation combustion etc then eighth lord becomes even more malefic the bad result of the eighth house lord is even more pronounced and lastly if the eighth lord in any house is conjoined with another malefic or respected by another malefic here we are talking of natural malefics sun rahu mars saturn in that scenario the result of the eighth lord in houses is very very ugly but all these results that i am telling you is based on my experience and in my experience i have seen some very good results of the eighth lord also another point is there that if the for example ascendant eighth lord goes into the ascendant or ascendant lord goes into the eighth house fundamentally from the perspective of the eighth house the result is almost same if it is not same for eighth lord in any house and that house lord in eighth house the result technically is same wherever it is different that i will specifically mention right first thing first if the eighth lord goes to ascendant what i have seen in these cases i have seen that the person becomes very successful in life provided the fact that he is born into a country where his religion is not followed or he starts his career in a country where his religion is not followed or rather say if the person lives and works in a foreign country then the person is very fortunate otherwise not eighth lord in ascendant also gives a weak body and makes the person susceptible for multiple diseases there are lots of ups and downs in life and settlement what you call na taking purchasing a home purchasing a vehicle getting married having children being settled person this settlement becomes very late in life and there are many difficulties in this settlement also that is one body is weak as i have already told you and this person can also have some very bad habits bad habits such as intoxication right having drugs being into alcoholism these bad habits can be there or back biting criticizing people not being happy with anything being dissatisfied in life these bad habits can also be there these two things are there most important thing is eighth lord is going into ascendant the person should go to foreign land or at least should start their career from foreign lands that is point number 1 secondarily there are lots of ups and downs in life the person have to prepare beforehand should have some extra fund to meet the needs which can arise surprisingly without any hint otherwise there can be problems 
generally in such cases when the person is enjoying he becomes ignorant and when the bad time comes because ignorance was there at first the person is not prepared and then he goes into a web of problem for example say when financial condition was good person keeps on spending all the money does not save anything then bad financial condition come and because the person have not saved in the starting he have he finds himself into a very bad condition to get, go through this condition, the person have to take loans, etc. And then he gets struck into a web of loans, which he cannot repay because another, because again, good time will come and the person will resort back to resort back to his habit of spending all the money without thinking. Right. So this is something that have to be kept in mind. Most importantly, if the eighth Lord goes into ascendant, then in that particular scenario, one should be very strict. One should be very strictly following their religion and one should be very adamant about their religion also. Such tendencies such as visiting the temple of other religions etc. should not be done otherwise many problems can come in life. Secondarily, Eighth Lord in Ascendant, I have seen generally these people change their life path multiple times. Generally, you will see that after working into a particular field for 10 years, they leave the field Right. So this interest change of mind, which compels them to take very, uh, you know, very surprising decisions that no one has thought that this person can do this also is a trait of eighth Lord in ascendant. Another thing is generally when the eighth Lord is, is in ascendant health keeps on disturbing the native health problems, keeps on disturbing the lifestyle work profession of the native. Generally, such people can also be into company of bad friends or can have bad neighbors, which constantly disturb them. Anything that is happening in life or anything that they want to do is not done without obstructions or obstacles. These people have to be very, very careful. If they are going to do something and some obstructions come, they should overlook the obstruction and do the thing. For example, you say you are going for a particular meeting and a necessity comes in home. Your brother calls you that I need you. I am feeling very depressed. Can you please come? Just don't cancel the meeting and go to him. Complete the meeting, then go to him. If you cancel the meeting and go to him, then what will happen? Such events will occur again and again. And these obstructions will not let you continue your work. When Lagna Lord goes to the 8th house, the condition becomes even bad. In that particular scenario, health specifically becomes very, very bad. And the person is not able to work because of their health. The, the problem is very, very serious. Generally, in such cases, what I have seen, five, six years, person is very good. But after that, he becomes diseased for next five, six years. And then they are able to do nothing. In such scenario, significant progress in life does not happen only because they are not able to remain into a condition. You say healthy state of mind, healthy state of body for very, very long. Obstructions, obstacles in life are highly increased. These are some specific results with respect to Lagna Lord in the 8th house. Other things are almost the same. One thing is there when the 8th Lord goes into the ascendant in that particular scenario, the person's body is weak. But Lagna Lord in the 8th house, the person's health is very bad. This is the difference that you should understand. Another point is 8th Lord going into the 2nd house. In this particular scenario, you see 8th Lord will go into the 2nd house. It will aspect the 8th house back. Any planet. In this particular case, the life is long. Person lives for a long time. Health is also good. Many ups and downs are not there in life. Life is almost very stable, constant. The person lives a type of life for long, right? Waking up, going to office, etc. is lifetime. Generally, such people work into the same field for complete lifetime also. Unexpected troubles and other issues don't come up. Whatever is happening in the life of the native, they already have a plan for that. And because they already have a plan for this, they don't 
you know they don't get into a situation where they have to hopelessly find up options or hopelessly have to find how to get out of the scenario on the other hand separation from family is there even if the person lives into a big family there is no one in the family who actually understands the native eye related problem speech related problem can be there boils and pimples on the face can be there or the person can be ugly looking also because of speaking sharing a lot of information or saying wrong things to people enmity competition problems can be there generally the person have to separate from family such people also either live in foreign land and if they don't live in foreign land then their success is greatly hampered or you say their success remains at a lower level only so settling into foreign land is something that they should very strongly consider accumulation of money sometimes become difficult but in the second part of life after 35 36 years of age this becomes okay such people also have great chances of earning unexpected money through investments stock market lottery etc and generally such people greatly benefit from ancestral property also these people also have good friend circle and social circle who take care of them like family and come to their rescue at the times of need right when the eight when the second lord goes into eighth house in this complete setup what happens financial condition becomes good and all these good things that i have told that becomes bad the disease part disease related to eyes boils and pimples disease related to vision this continues right second lord in 8th house right but financial condition becomes better rest everything else remains the same but second lord in the 8th house also indicate weak temperament of the native weak health and it does indicate that after crossing 37 38 years of age the person generally remains lonely and because of this bad health is not able to concentrate on things properly eighth lord goes into third house many people will say that it is vipreet raj yog please have some good jyotish knowledge one have some good understanding of life number 2 and number 3 what do you think if i have not said ever that eighth lord in third house is vipreet raj yog i forget it i forget to tell it i don't know i don't remember what only you can practice such profession where you can show your incompetency by saying oh i forgot i am sorry my friend i don't do it i think the hint should be very clear coming back to the point eighth lord goes into third house problem with siblings problem from siblings can be there generally in such cases person can be the youngest in the family or can be the only child in the family as well problems from friend and friend circle will also be there the person have a tendency of taking a lot of risk and because of this the person can be from disturbed to over occupied anything which does not let him properly focus on those things which are actually important which can be problematic basically said such person can be into a habit of wasting their time because they are focusing on things which are not necessary these people rather than doing important things first are doing non important things first that is the problem and remember once again the prime purpose of astrology is that you understand the problem and then you eradicate it you understand the weakness and do something for it that is the prime uses of astrology right only listening to what is good and what is beneficial is not the prime uses of astrology if you want to do that you should appoint a boot licker for yourself you should appoint a pa he will say all the good things for you only it is the work of pa only not an astrologer right so once again coming back to the point
the person because of his over ambition or because of his habit of taking a lot of risk can lose significant money or can lose many a things for which the native should be careful if the person is planning to do anything 80% of the time plans don't work as expected the person should always have a plan a plan b and plan c ready otherwise things can go wrong only working with plan a or having a lot of confidence that it will work only the way that i am telling is only detrimental is not going to help at all sorry is not going to help at all right this will be issue other than this the person is very susceptible for accidents also it is very probable that one can get hurt can have wound in hands shoulders and the upper region of the chest for which the native should be careful breathing related issues can be there and what i have seen practically observed that when eighth lord goes into third house or third lord goes into eighth house in this particular scenario divorce is at least 60 70% common in 60 70% divorce will be there in other cases the person will be into a relationship where he will desperately want to marry the life partner but the relationship will break pushing the person into a state of depression melancholy sad uh, melancholy and uh, pushing the person into a sad phase for some years of life generally this comes in young age between the age of 19 to 28 and because of this the person can lose many great opportunities in his life on which they repent later on make sure you don't do it right additionally one more thing i will say when the eighth lord goes into third house people generally start these things such as smoking drinking alcohol etc just for the sake of fun but slowly slowly they find that they have become addicted such things they should strongly avoid these people can also have tendencies of taking you know saying bad to people often or criticizing others very often which will give them unnecessary enemies and will make their life very troubled so that is something that they should not do also such people what we call in our dilli languages they talk with hands first mouth later on these people can have a tendency of acting first thinking later on which should be completely avoided anything that they are doing anything that they are speaking they should think before speaking or doing otherwise it can have consequences that the native will not like at all and see i can tell you one house lord in another house for example eighth lord in third house i can keep on talking for two hours but of course that much free, that much free time i am not having sadly so i am telling all of these things in nutshell with an expectation that little bit of basic astrology you know and with these proper hints you will be able to make other results also right that's the basic point of me. that that's my basic intention behind this video right last but not the least when the eighth lord goes into the third house in that particular scenario leaving money for long time with anyone should not be done otherwise there will there is a fear of losing the money the person generally have a good health enjoys good health and person if even if they have any disease they quickly recover disease is not a problem when the eighth lord is going into third house and to save the video from getting very lengthy i am not telling you the result of third lord in eighth house or any lord in eighth house i am just talking about eighth lord in different houses let's make this change to keep time under control right eighth lord in fourth house it's not a very good setup happiness satisfaction contentment is not there in life 
fraud and cheating related to property can be there. The person can be involved in accidents related to vehicles, etc., for which they should be very careful. Before making investments in property, they should cross check everything. And they should make sure that they are not doing anything which can become a cause of tension tomorrow. Such as having sexual relationship with someone without marrying them, etc. Such things they should not do. Otherwise, tension can come into future. In this case, you are inviting the tension. Secondarily, such people also have a habit of overthinking. And uselessly thinking. Either they are thinking over things that they cannot change. They should stop it. Or they just keep on thinking over different aspects without thinking to find a solution, which they should also not do. Even if there is a tension, they should just sit, focus over it, find an answer and be firm on the answer. Constant thinking over anything will not lead to any result, will only give mental tensions, dilemma and chaos to the native, which should not be done. Generally, in these cases, because of health or because of professional commitments, person does not get proper love affection from mother, which makes the childhood difficult and later on can hamper the emotional development of the child or emotional development of the native also. Generally, such people are very shakti. You know, such people always doubt everyone else. And because of this doubt, their marital life and personal life can be into a problem. They should learn to trust first. Then they should expect anything from the native. They have trust issues that is very prominent, which creates issues in their own life also. It's, it's not like you are having, you are not trusting your life partner. So there is nothing bad into it. Right? Distrust is shown into behavior also. And if you have distrust towards your life partner or towards your family member, it will be visible in your actions, which will then repel them to do good for you also. This is something that is to be kept in mind and should not be done. Other than that, heart related problems, breathing related problem, infection, chest related problem, cholesterol related problem can be there for which the native should be very, very careful. Woman with such scenario can also have problems related to breast regarding which they should have. They should take care of it. Otherwise, problems can also happen. Generally, such people get inheritance, but in the later part of life, good aspects are also there. In worship, meditation, yoga, they get great success. Things such as Kundalini Jagaran, right? having a glimpse of the God in the dream, Mantra Siddhi, is rather easier for these people. Finding Guru is very easy for these people, but the only problem is you are not trusting the person. That's why the problem is happening. Right? So this is something that have to be kept in mind. For female horoscopes, this combination can give problem in childbirth also, but it does not deny the childbirth. Some problem in childbirth, late conception, abortion, problems in sustaining the child in the womb can be there. But it does not deny child at all. But of course, as I told you before, if the 8th Lord goes to 4th house with other malefic, or if the 8th Lord in 4th house is combust, debilitated, etc., then it can indicate denial of the children also. In a normal setup where the, where the planet is neither powerful nor weak, it does not deny. It can deny also, right? You have to take the supporting conditions into, you have to keep supporting conditions into mind also, otherwise great problem will happen in analysis that will lead you to wrong analysis. Right? So be careful about it. Most importantly, what I have seen when the 8th Lord goes into the 4th house, person have a very sharp eyesight for opportunity. The person have very good plans and ideas, which if they have complete faith on themselves, then they can benefit from it. For this particular reason, I told you in the starting that these people should not overthink. They should just believe their intuition. They have a very strong intuition. If they work according to their intuition, everything will be good. Otherwise, problem will happen. So that they should not do. 
right most importantly this gives long life to the native also generally the life is not having a lots of ups and downs until and unless the eighth lord in the fourth house is afflicted life is not having a lot of ups and downs and actually here not having a lots of ups and downs becomes a problem eighth lord in fourth house you say if the person is having a bad profession for the time being if the person is suffering in professional life then because lot of, lots of ups and downs is downs are not there the professional condition does not change quickly so suffering in the professional life or bad professional life can sustain for 5 7 10 years which actually becomes a problem but in that case when eighth lord in fourth house is good in that particular scenario when good time come comes it also sustain for long 10 15 years which is actually good so both sides of the coin is there it should be properly analyzed even without analysis also i can say that for 10 15 years bad professional time is there then for the next 10 15 years good time is there and the person should plan accordingly and now because it is happening in 10 15 years of interval it cannot be told as a lot of ups and downs because everyone goes through some bad time and some bad some good time the only thing is that bad time or good time is sustaining for long that's the problem not the problem the main aspect of it right eighth lord goes into fifth house the person can take those decisions which can be detrimental for himself only he should be careful the person generally such people their retention power is not very good they should write their ideas and anything that they want to use later on otherwise it will be problematic many a times these people think that i will listen to it and i will remember and then will accord will work accordingly whereas in reality they cannot remember things properly and then just based on their assumption of what they must have heard they do things which leads them into problem right it is told that such person is unintelligent i will not use the word unintelligent but trusting too much into i will remember everything that they should not do any idea or anything they should quickly write stomach related problem spine related problem intestine related problem they are supposed to have so they should be careful about it problems in childbirth will be there they should be careful about it also their children can also suffer from bad health for which they should consult a doctor on a regular basis and there can be shame and agony because of children also that should be kept under control that should be kept in mind and sanskar to the children should be given accordingly so that such things don't happen right other than this it gives a long life to the native and generally life is free of ups and downs at any given point of time person always have something to bank upon person always have something to rely upon but the ideas etc of the native they think that it will be very successful but it can go completely opposite so you say ideas etc that they have does not work the way they have expected it to work they should be careful about it going to stock market and investments they can have great losses they should be careful about it also generally such people when they go into spirituality they can initially face either some challenges or initially face disruption in their personal life which they should bear with for some time after that everything will become okay and good such person with eighth lord in fifth house have a very influential voice which they can use for their advantage in profession that basically means they should choose a profession where they are into a position where they have to speak and because their speaking skills are very great it will greatly benefit them also right when the sixth lord goes into the eighth house it generally keeps the person diseased such people have multiple type of diseases those coming from accidents also those coming from negligence also hereditary diseases also multiple types of diseases are there and almost every time person is suffering from one disease or the another which is very difficult to cure generally they change doctors to doctors they keep on you know they keep on taking medication for long one two years but no result is seen is generally the case with eighth lord in the sixth house right so they should be very careful even at the starting and doesn't and should not let anything sustain for more than 2 3 months because if it sustains then it can be permanent also 
Boils, pimples can be a major issue. Back spine related problem can be a major issue. Hips and buttocks, buttock related problem can be a major issue. Stomach related problem can be a major issue. Blood pressure related problem can be a major issue. Accidents from vehicle being attacked by animals can also be there. They should be careful about it. Getting damage because of being in company of antisocial element or sustaining damage because of being present at wrong place at wrong point of time can also be there. So the native should be very careful. Generally what happens if an area is going through unrest, you should not visit at that place. Such people with 8th Lord and 6th house because of visiting at a place where unrest is there or because of traveling anywhere before, without checking weather forecast etc. can land into problem also. They should be careful about Infectious diseases, they are very much susceptible to, for which they should be careful. A specific part is, though they have a lot of competition, enmity and jealousy in life, many people are jealous of them, but they ultimately succeed. There is no one who match their level of excellence in life. People will want to become like them, but cannot actually become like them. From stock market, and other investments, gains will be there. The person will also get good amount of land and property from ancestral means also. Right. From their parents also. Sudden and surprise gain of money often happens in life. And generally such people with 6th Lord in 8th house rise way above. Financially, socially, both as compared to the condition of their parents. But one thing is there when the sixth Lord is there in the eighth house, marital life is disturbed and at least the first marriage is very, very problematic. One divorce at least happens. In the best setup, the marital life at best can be said as non-satisfactory only. So I am taking it as worst, bad, Worst, very bad, bad, non-satisfactory, satisfactory, good, very good, excellent, brilliant. In this category, at maximum, it can be said as non-satisfactory only, not more than that. Right. Most importantly, life is almost very stable for these people. And once they have achieved a particular status, either social or financial, they sustain that status. Lots of ups and downs and surprise events are not there the person have a firm and steady growth in life as well. Eighth Lord in seventh house, the marital life goes into problem. The marital life goes into doldrums. Fights in marriage to torture in marriage, being blackmailed by life partner, being cheated by life partner, all these things can happen. Actually happens. In the best scenario, when the seventh Lord goes into the eighth house, the person will get some wealth, etc. from life partner. Life partner will financially help them either by advice or by working with them or by, or by having their separate profession. This is the best setup. In normal setup, 8th Lord in 7th house, marital life will be bad. There will be fights in marital life. When the 8th Lord goes into the 7th house, into a bad rashi in that particular scenario, marital life will be dissatisfactory. Life partner can cheat also. It will lead to divorce. Seventh Lord goes into, sorry, eighth Lord goes into seventh house in a bad condition along with a malefic, then hell broke loose. Marital life is bad. Life partner is cheating, blackmailing, humiliating, and then divorce also happens. So this is actually a very bad setup. Only in the first case, when the eighth Lord is going into seventh house into a good Rashi, you can expect support from life partner is there. Support from the family of life partner is there. The mother, father of your life partner love you like their own children. The life partner also financially helps you as well, either by working, either by working in their profession or working with you, or uh, they financially help you because they themselves belong from a rich family. Right? Either ways, they help. Seventh, eighth lot into the seventh house, the person can meet with a lot of accidents, specifically while traveling. They should be very careful about it. The person can have weakness in sexual organs and they can have weakness in lower intestine also with, for which they should be careful. Problems in bones, weakness in bones can be there for which also they should be careful. Generally, 8th Lord in 7th house person can 
fall into a type of disease up you know there is one type of disease that if one gets it a particular body part stops functioning or a particular body part gets a permanent damage right for example you know it is like breaking a bone right if you have broken a bone it is a permanent break right it cannot be non reversible problem so generally eight lot in seventh house indicates that person can have a non reversible problem person can have a problem person can have a disease after which either one body part will stop working for the rest of the lifetime or they will have a condition which will be very difficult to undo which will be very difficult to cure it will be permanent problem generally lifestyle related disease diabetes blood pressure related issues etc also happens if the eighth lord is there into the seventh house such people if they live into foreign land it is all okay and good but in the starting of like when they just shift to the foreign land for the next 2 to 5 years there is a lot of struggle humiliation from others in foreign land also for which they should be prepared and they should be well they should be prepared and should have a uh, strong planning good planning also right eighth lord into seventh house the person can also have bad habits bad traits such as drinking smoking back biting bitching about people etc that they should not do generally because of being too open to towards the people of opposite gender or being too close to the too close to many people of opposite gender person can get bad person can get defamation person can lose their respect and can also be humiliated and tortured by the people of the opposite gender dealing with people of opposite gender while dealing with people of opposite gender these people having eighth lord in seventh house should be very careful otherwise problem will be there right and uh, i think everything almost fixed. all the hints are done as seventh lord in to eighth house while swimming problems can be there to be careful from water problems from drinking dirty water two problems while swimming anything can happen to so be careful about it person will be very susceptible to get infectious diseases etc for which also they should be careful meeting with accidents or meeting with calamities meeting with bad people landing into trouble while traveling is very common be careful about it right the health is the bodily composition is not very very good person should be careful very careful before consuming anything or making any major change in their lifestyle for example if the person starts sleeping late in night and continues it for 1 2 years then it will give rise to such problems which can be very detrimental for the native in the long run that means they can give them a constant back ache or they can make them you know have constant problem with eyes or they can give them insomnia permanent insomnia such things can be there they should be very very careful about it right seven eighth lord into seventh house also indicate that sexual performance is not very satisfactory sexual pleasure is also not much in life and the person can also resort to unnatural forms of uh, sexuality which can become problematic unprotected sexuality can also become very problematic native should be careful about it eighth lord in eighth house gives a long stable life the person is healthy have a strong disposition generally the person does not fall ill the life is stable ups and downs are not there there is a steady stream of income the professional life is also very very stable even if the person leaves job because he is not you know now not wanting to do it in that scenario also person quickly gets another job as well for long time calamities and problems do not sustain life is generally at peace unexpected gains and in income also happen getting 
movable and immovable assets from inheritance will also be there. Gaining from lottery in stock market is also there. Stomach related issues, digestion related issues, excretion related issues, it can give bone replacement, it can give. It makes the person susceptible towards accidents also for which the native should be careful. But other than this, it gives a fairly stable and long life. The person can also have good knowledge of Vedas, Sastras and other esoteric things. Or in simpler words, the person will have good knowledge of those things where people believe that getting knowledge of this particular subject needs the blessing of God. Knowing multiple languages, visiting multiple countries is something that very often happens with them. Right. Such person also have a very cool, calm, composed disposition. They are also very mentally stable and mentally strong as well. They are very strong willed also. And they prove to be very great life partners as well. Their life partner belongs from a strong, financially strong family background, which helps them. The spouse is also working or have some good sources of income, which help them in their financial journey also, which helps them in their finances. basically. The person can have a tendency of a lot of masturbation, etc., which can become problematic for the native. The native can be troubled because of this. The person can also be engaged into unnatural or unnatural sexual activities, which will also become problematic for the native. Lastly, in many cases, the native can be very libidous also because of which he can lose his focus and the success can be greatly delayed as well. For this particular thing, the native should be careful. When the eighth lord goes into the ninth house, problems from government, problems from father can be there. The approach of father, either the father is not loving the child or the father is very busy in their own life, cannot pay attention to child or the father is living separate. Any such thing can happen which restricts the happiness of father from the native's life. Problem from government and government offic governmental official will also be there. Generally, the person is not religious. Even if the person tries to do some mantras, visiting temples, etc. because of one reason or the other, either he cannot continue, he or she cannot continue doing it or if they do, then they feel that because of this reason, there is chaos happening in their family. Such things, when it comes to mind, it is because of negative energies. You should ignore it, continue doing it, and slowly, slowly, everything will become okay. Right? Generally, such people don't have good gurus in their life. That means many people to help, guide, and support them are not there. Even when they get a good guru, because of their prejudice, because of their lack of understanding, and many such issues, they either lose the company of the guru or they themselves leave the company of the guru, not realizing that this was the right guru. And the thing is as such that person is having the right guru, but he is not able to realize it and is putting his focus into finding a perfect guru, which he cannot find because he is already having a perfect guru, but he is not realizing that. So this is something that should be taken care of. Generally, problems related to veins, internal problems is there. Problem related to blood pressure can happen. The person can be very short tempered also, which they should avoid. Taking quick decisions should be highly avoided. The loans, etc. of the father can fall over the native, which will give them burdens and problems in life. Right. The, pro the enmity of the father, the loans, etc., the financial liabilities, etc. of the father can fall over the native. And if it falls in that, if it falls means if the ninth lord goes in, if the eighth lord goes into the eighth house, there it will be into bad condition or be, uh, be with a malefic. Only in that situation liabilities will fall, right? If the liabilities fall, then in that particular scenario up to the age of 30 to 33 is spent only on fulfilling those liabilities or completing those liabilities only. And in this particular case, the maximum young age of the native is wasted. 
into doing this only because of this particular reason, settlement, etc. in life happens very late, becomes problematic. So this combination in total becomes problematic. Right. Other than that, bad relationship with siblings, eight, uh, eighth lord into ninth house, bad relationship with siblings is also there or there are no siblings. Problem from friend circle and social circle is also there. Defamation, bad and infamous status can be there. The person can fall, fall into false allegation for which they should be very, very careful. Other than that, displeasure of people who are more powerful than you, either financially or in the hierarchy of the society can land you into troubles. Be careful about it. Most importantly, one can one is very susceptible to one is very susceptible of, uh, you know, um, meeting with an accident while driving. So they should be very, very careful about it. Water related issues, problems from drinking contaminated water, drowning, etc. can be there. And accidents related to fire can also be there. For this also, the native should be very, very careful. The luck is having a lots of ups and downs. Sometimes the person feels like he's very lucky. And right from the next month, he starts feeling like he's very unlucky. So life is not stable at all. If anything is giving profit to this native, it cannot be said that it will continue giving profit. Generally, in the life of such people, anything that is good, good friends, Good financial condition does not last for long and soon it converts into bad conditions. These bad conditions also don't last for long, but it lasts longer than the good condition. So planning should be made accordingly in the cases of finances and profession and in the case of friend circle, etc. One should be very limited. One should be an introvert opening up too much or telling a lot of things to others, giving a lot of information to others can become problematic only. So be careful. There is lots of ups and downs in luck. So planning should be made in advance. Otherwise problem will be there. When the eighth Lord goes into the 10th house, the person, if they do a nine to five job, then it is a great problem. They will not find satisfaction in this job. They will not succeed into this job. The pay from this job will not meet their requirements. Instead, the person should do a job where the person can be called anytime, such as working in army, police, or having their own business. In this, the person is very successful. Generally, with this setup, there are lots of ups and downs in profession also. At one point of time, the person can be earning very great, but will he continue earning from the same profession is not there. Multiple changes in profession, multiple changes in place of residence, multiple changes in lifestyle is seen frequently, that too very, very frequently. Bad name, fame, defamation, false allegation can be there for which the native should be careful. Generally, the paternal side of the family does not like the native and a lot of mental torture and trauma from the paternal side of the family have to be weird for which the native should be careful. The person can also, you know, give displeasure to a large group of people or become hated by a large group of people. So he should always keep a check over what he's doing, what he's saying over his statements, over his actions. He should always be very, very careful about it. Doing anything without caution can land them into trouble. Problem from government and governmental authorities can be there also. So be careful about it. Profe major professional setbacks because of ignorance, major professional setbacks because of not being careful can be there. Right. Problem related to eyes, eyesight, problem related to knees is there. The person is also susceptible to accidents. Right. The person can also spend considerable time into doing things which is not necessary for them or person can spend considerable time into doing things which is not going to help them in future. So before engaging yourself into anything, Think that whether you want to do something of this knowledge or whether this engagement will actually help you give you something or not. If not, then don't do it. Otherwise, so it will become a problem. 
problems problems from the paternal relatives bad relationship with paternal relatives jealousy obstruction from paternal relatives discouragement from paternal relatives can be there be careful about it in fact such native have bad relationship from both the parents so that is there cheating or loss of money owing to property and vehicle can be there so be careful before you invest your money into it the person generally thinks a lot which is problematic the person is also susceptible of having depressive phases in life be careful about it the person can have a habit of taking useless tension and making themselves sad because because of it avoid it overthinking thinking a lot should not be done generally the person have a dissatisfied complaining tendency which should be controlled otherwise these people only keep on complaining and because they have a complaining tendencies they cannot enjoy things in life right if the 8th lot goes into the 11th house lot of unexpected gains from lottery investment ancestral ancestral property etc can happen lot of inheritance is also there the person if they work internationally they will gain a lot such people will also get awards accolades owners from the government also but their nature is generally not pleasurable so so to say the person is very shouting or his words are not very polite or the native is very short tempered such bad tendencies can be there because of which people will dislike him so this is something that they should be careful about they can be cheated from their friends and members of the society also or they cannot or they will not have anyone to support them as in no friends to support or if there are friends they are not actual friends they are only verbal friends muh se bolne ka dost hai asli dost nahi hai this happens so they should be careful before shifting into a society before surrounding themselves from a particular uh, uh, yeah from a particular type of people or they should be careful about they should be careful before being friends with someone otherwise problems can right this person generally eighth lord in 11th house is born into a humble background but slowly slowly progresses in life and ultimately does two to three times more progress than their parents their progress is more than any of their friends their progress is more than their parents their progress is very exceptional and phenomenal which no one have thought ever on the other hand when the 8th lord in 11th house is into a bad condition everything will go other way around right uh, there will be financial difficulties there will be financial problems there will be defamation etc right so this is how it should be taken a predictive 8th lord in 11th house person also have very good intuition and whatever they think whatever is their idea that is actually correct whatever is this impression that is actually correct but many a times it can happen that they may not believe themselves only which will become a reason of problem in their life which they should not do believe in yourself only then success will come also such people should be into meditational practices which will increase their focus many fold otherwise lack of focus and lack of correct approach lack of correct approach because they are not listening to their own gut feeling and lack of mental focus is something that they generally suffer with their life is good bodily constitution is strong they generally don't get affected by many diseases and the progress as i told you progress is there in life no problem when the eighth lord goes into 12th house there are lots of ups and downs in life point 1 the person can have problems related to feet the person is susceptible to accidents person can have eyesight related problems 
person have a very active subconscious mind because of which they think a lot because of this this thinking either they always remain troubled or if they continue this habit for long then they can go into depression also can have other mental maladies for which they should be very careful is spending money into those things that will give no benefit is their habit which should be avoided they can be into bad company that should be also avoided their investments can be lost so before making investment they should be careful right having friendship with people who are more powerful than you or having yeah having friendship with people who are more powerful than you is actually not good as generally i have seen that having friendship with people who are more powerful than you only proves detrimental to these people in long run because they don't have any real friends at all right in they are good into astrology they can have good astrological knowledge they can have good astrological understanding also they have good predictive skill as well counseling consulting guiding people based on their intelligence and understanding is what suits best to them mantra chanting visiting temple other spiritual practices greatly benefit these people also they are interested in these things as well right dealing into they also have habit of collecting things something anything as per the signification of the eighth lord they also have a habit of collecting they are collectors the collector of things history ancient knowledge working into these things greatly benefits them greatly benefits them means gives gives them name fame status also good income also and gives them mental satisfaction and peace as well right generally such people also remain afflicted from one disease or the other disease always and at no point of time for continuous one year they are disease free cough cold back ache headache stomach related problem is very common to the native so they should take good care of their health and of themselves otherwise problem can happen this i have told you it's lord in all houses in a nutshell i have only hinted at the things that can happen if any house will have many significations according to me if you don't have 20 significations of a house at your fingertip you don't know good astrology so taking 20 house 20 significations from one house and 20 significations from the eighth house at least 40 predictions one should make from eighth lord in every house but that is a very long process that is for you to do i have hinted at the major results these results are from my practical experience and my own understanding hope it helps